Now, Chairman of the Ondo State Social Democratic Party, Mr. Stephen Adewale, who on Saturday represented former Minister for Youth and Sports Development, Barrister Solomon Talong, at a debate competition at Ifaki Ekiti. In Ekiti State, as lauded the efforts of Mrs. Bola Omowumi Fashikun for her impact in the development of education in Nigeria. Stephen Adewale applauded the convener at Methodist Girls Grammar School, Ifaki Ekiti, the venue of the inter school debate and quiz competition. Our correspondent, David Awokwetu, was there and he reports. Methodist Girls Grammar School in Yekiti has emerged winner among five other secondary schools after a school debate organized by Bola Omawumi Fashikun to mark a 50th birthday anniversary as Adladov High School came first in the quiz segment. The standard of education in Nigeria is falling. Teachers in public school are now the victim of the falling standard of education as they have to endure poor salaries and many has lost that appetite to pass on knowledge to others. A child's encounter with a student are going to be a dog. Does not tell a lot the notion that Nigeria graduates are failure and standard does fall. The event, which took place on Saturday at Methodist Girls Grammar School in Yekiti, is organized to impact the society positively. Bola um, Omo Fashiko is one person who, right from cradle, right from childhood, has always been a person who is passionate about giving back to the society. And attaining that golden jubilee of 50 years on earth, we know it's no small uh, measure. She just look at it that, okay, what do I do? Instead of going to a club, instead of going to perhaps a seaside to organize party, she just decided to say, look, the best thing I can do is there are people who are down there who as little as Waek fee, as little as Neko fee, they can't afford for their kids and their kids have that um, innate skill they are yearning to go to school and she said okay what do we do let's go to the schools let's go to secondary school and bring them together yes in as much as we want to give them this scholarship let's also let them know that you must be very you must strive to attain academic excellence on those state social democratic party chairman Stephen Adewale who at the occasion represented former minister for youth and sport development barrister Salomon Dalong says a program like this would make the youth become a better person in the society the impact of a program Programs such as this cannot be overestimated. You know, um, in Nigeria, when we gained independence in 1960, our leaders at the time recognized the importance of inter-school debate. And that's why when they introduced the first national development plan in 1962, they made it clear and they made it compulsory for all the secondary students, public secondary schools at the time, to ensure that they carry out a program such as this. And you will see it in our, in, in, in our society, the leaders that we had the best of the leaders at the time. But unfortunately, over time, we have abandoned some of these laudable projects. That's why we have to appreciate the convener of the program, and we also want to encourage them to ensure that the program such as this is not limited to this community. It should be a statewide project. And with time, who knows, maybe other states can also borrow leave or other individuals will borrow leave from this and they will be able to do something meaningful with this. Once again, we want to appreciate you. And a program such as this as well, Honorable Minister believes that it has the tendency to even help our politics because a debate promotes healthy competition. A, a student who has participated in a program like this, by the time they join politics, they will know that politics is not do or die affair. And it will have helped their, with their vocabulary prowess, their sound reasoning, and a lot of other things that will help them to become a, a good people in the society. Governments are again reminded to encourage the youth and provide learning facilities for various schools in the country. But we all know ASU is on strike, ASU on strike, NASU on strike, our tertiary institutions shut down. We all know we even what our secondary schools are like. So it's on government. Yes, I know it's not a government thing alone. We must also tell ourselves the truth. But it's on government to actually initiate that policy. One thing we have in Nigeria is actually formulating policy. Implementation is what we don't get right. If government can actually have that political will to say, look, we must do well in our education sector. This is the policy we want to go by and go on to implement it to the latter. I think it's just a very simple thing. We all travel out of this country. We see the way the education sector is. Why can't we replicate such in our society even much better than what we have? As far as government is concerned, 
is about taking responsibility of not just the total package or total control of education. The government should not neglect any aspects of the education sector. The students, however, extended their sincere appreciation to the convener, Mrs. Bola Fashikun, for her kind gesture towards them. On behalf of all Methodist Guest High School faculty, I really want to appreciate her for her kindness, for her loving, caring, and I pray the Lord will continue to bless her. I want to thank our Lord for establishing this kind of um, this kind of inter-school debate, it will not only impact in the, the lives of the students, but also help those people who are not financially stable. I want to thank her for giving us this privilege to prove how competent and available for, we are for having passion to school. The importance of education cannot be overestimated as it is the key to a bright future. From Ifakekiti, David Abupetu. Reporting for Captain TV News.